Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be learning how to add light and dark mode in our flutter application and we are also going to be providing the options to the user so that they can choose any of the three theme modes they will like to have like light mode, dark mode or system mode. So let's start building. Let us start by creating a new flutter project. Just open the folder where you would like to create a new project. Use flutter create command to create a new project. Here you can provide any name dark underscore light mode tutorial flutter. Now our project has been created. We need to open this inside any of your text editor either Android Studio or VS Code. Let's open it in VS Code. Click on I trust the author. Our work will start from the left folder. Open the left folder. Now just run the app once. Let's test the demo code that Flutter has written. Now this is the demo application code that Flutter has already written for us when we created this project. Here first we'll be changing the title. Let's make it as dark light mode tutorial. Also we need to change inside our home page. Here it is using the color scheme of deep purple. It means that it's providing the color deep purple and from there it will create its primary, secondary, tertiary and other colors from that specific color. For changing light mode and dark mode, in our application, we'll be requiring a package. So for that, we'll be using this adaptive theme package. It's very simple and it will make the whole process very easier for us. Just copy the name of the package and inside VS Code, open the terminal. Here just type flutter pub add and paste the name of the package adaptive theme. Now it will install the dependency for the package. Verify with your pubsec.yml file. So adaptive theme has been added. And now, and now just stop the app. We need to run it again. If we talk about theme modes, we have three kinds of theme modes. First is light, then it's dark, and then it's system mode. System mode may be of light mode or dark mode. So first we'll be learning how we can implement light mode and dark mode and after that we'll be also implementing how we can add system mode to it. First we need to write our own theme data. For this let's create a new file theme underscore data dot dot. Here we'll create the light theme data. We'll not add much things. Just here we'll use theme data and let's name the variable as light theme. Here we need to provide theme data again and provide the values that we are willing to provide. Suppose for brightness, it will be brightness dot light because it's for light mode and for color scheme, we are only providing this color scheme for this like color scheme dot form seed and here we need to provide the color from which it will extract automatically the primary, secondary, tertiary and other colors. We don't need to provide it manually. So for color let's use colors dot light blue and here again for brightness we'll be also using brightness dot light. Now this was our team data for light team. We also need another team data. It will be for our dark theme. Let's also name it as dark theme. The brightness will be brightness dot dark because it's for dark mode. And we can also change the seed color. Let's make it to colors dot blue. And now we need to link this with our UI. Now here for the theme, we are currently using the theme of color scheme of colors dot deep purple if we remove this and use our own theme that we have recently created like the light theme then it will be something like this and if we convert it to dark theme 
then it will be something like this. So we'll not be doing manually like this. It may be very time consuming. Instead, since we have already installed the package, we'll go to the documentation of adaptive theme. And here, first, we need to wrap our material widget with adaptive theme widget. Here, if we wrap it with our adaptive theme, here we need to provide the initial adaptive theme mode. Let's keep it for system mode, the system theme, default theme that it will be. And then we need to provide our light mode. For light mode, we can use the light theme that we have created. And for dark mode, we can use the dark theme that we have created. And now we need to provide the builder. Builder, we need to pass the dark and light theme. So here we'll remove this child and directly add. Now here we are using this dark theme, but we'll not use this. We'll use the theme that it's passing. Like for theme, we'll use the light theme. And for dark theme, we'll use the dark theme that it's passing through the builder. System is running on light mode, so it changed to light mode. Now here, what we want that when we press this floating action button, it should change the theme either from light mode to dark mode or dark mode to light mode. So let's implement that feature. First, we'll not be requiring this counter function. We can remove it inside column. We don't need this for now. Let's name the tooltip as change change theme. And there is a function an adaptive theme. We can use that. Child will have an icon. So we'll use adaptive theme dot of context dot mode. We can get the adaptive theme mode that which mode it's running. Either system, either it's running on system mode or light mode or dark mode. So if this is equal to adaptive theme mode dot dark in that case if it's true means it's dark mode in that case we should show the uh, light mode icon like sun icon so if we visit google icons then we'll use this light mode icon so for that we'll use icon icons dot light mode else we'll show the icon of dark mode Now, when we press the button, we need to also convert our theme from light mode to dark mode or dark mode to light mode. So here we need to write the function like when we press this button, first we need to know that which theme mode currently it's running. So if it's running light mode, then we need to convert to dark and if it's dark, then we need to convert it to light. So inside set state. We need to first know that which theme mode it's running. We can use this similar logic. So if it's dark mode, then we need to convert it to light mode. So for converting, we need to use adaptive theme dot of context dot set light. This will set light mode and else it should set it should set dark mode and now here here we can show that which theme currently it's running like we can add a text you are using with the help of the adaptive theme of context.mode we can get to know which theme mode it's running so you will you will use adaptive theme dot off context dot mode now it's showing that we are currently using adaptive theme mode of system if we press this button then it's showing that you are using adaptive theme mode dot dark we can also increase the font size here now it's showing that we are using adaptive theme mode dot dark if we press this again it's showing us the light mode icon so if we press this, it converted to theme mode dot light, and if we press this, it converted to dark. 
now this way we have set it now this was the basic implementation by which we have completed now what we are going to do here sometimes the user can choose either they need the system mode like if we go to some apps they provide three options either you need the system mode light mode or dark mode if you also want to provide those option then what we can do here we can use radio radio list type so mainly this shows radio button the return type will be adaptive theme mode means the three theme modes like adaptive theme mode dot light dot dark and system here we need to provide three properties first values group value and on changed now the group value will be similar suppose we are going to have three radio less style then we need to have similar group value by which we can group all the three items here in group value we need to provide something that will be common in all of them so for group value let's use adaptive theme dot of context dot mode first we want to have the value for dark mode let's use adaptive theme mode dot dark and on changed if the user press this button we would like to convert the current theme to dark theme on changed will get a value that which value is pressed and then we can convert our device theme to that specific theme like if set state here it also accepts one more property that is the title so here the title will be text dark and if we press this we want to convert this to dark mode so for that we can use this adaptive theme dot of context dot set dark now we need two more this type of button this will be our light mode so the text will be light the group value the value will be theme mode dot light and the group value will be similar when we press this we will change it to set light and the other value will be system and here it will be adaptive theme mode dot system and on changed we'll use adaptive theme dot of context dot set system it will set the system theme so now let's try if we press this it's converting to dark mode and it's showing that you are using adaptive theme mode dot dark and when we press this it's showing that currently we are using light mode and when we press this it's using the theme mode dot system my system is running on light mode so for that reason it's showing a uh, light mode and if i convert it to light mode it's also showing light mode now you'll notice that we can change it from here and also from here but here one thing that you might have noticed that in initial for initial time we are using adaptive theme dot system suppose we are set to the dark mode and if you are restarting the application for a very minimal time it show the light mode first and then convert to dark mode the adaptive theme mode use shared preferences and save which theme mode the current user is using or has set so we can use that so here we'll use first we'll convert this to async we'll use widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized and here we'll create a new variable saved theme we'll use await adaptive theme dot get theme mode from here we'll be getting the theme mode and it will be a return type of adaptive theme mode we need to pass this widget to our my app stateless widget so for that first we need to accept it here it will be our adaptive theme mode 
one thing that if we are launching the app for first time the value may not be there so value will not be there if we are launching the app for first time this value will not exist so it may be null so we are making this value nullable and then we are calling save thing and we need to also pass final formal parameters now we can remove this const and pass the save thing as the save thing and here initial will use the save thing and if we don't have the save thing then in that case we'll use the system default thing you will find that problem is now gone we can only show that which mode it's using instead of adaptive theme mode or dark we need to just first convert it to string then split it by dot then the last part will be then just convert it to uppercase here yeah, let's write mode and it's showing that you are using dark mode you're using light mode you're using system mode let's do one thing here let's also add the icon let's wrap this in a row and then add this icon let's instead it will be opposite because here we are specifying that which mode it's running so here we'll use light mode and here we'll use dark mode also we can change the color to colors dot orange need some spacing add size box width of 10 and just center below main axis alignment to main axis alignment dot center now it's okay also we can add the size box here height of 10 so now if we convert it's showing that you are using dark mode you are using light mode and if we use system it's showing you are using system light dark in this way you can implement dark and light mode in your flutter application so that's all for this video i hope that you will find this video helpful